Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Semi Design. In today's session, let us discuss how to resolve the questions on sequence or pattern generation using constraints. So, in any given constraint or any given uh, uh, question like this, first you need to analyze the requirement properly. What is the requirement given to you? So, after understanding the requirement, if it is a very complex requirement, you need to break down into the uh, pieces and understand each requirement and then you have to further start writing the code. Okay, so first let us see the question given to us here. Okay, in this sequence, you can see that there is a sequence given to us like something like 0, 1, 0, 2, 0 like that, right? So, this sequence, we need to write a constraint. But suppose we are using an array to reproduce the same scenario. In this scenario, you can see that if you, for sub in array, we have different um, indexes, right? So you have to find out, is there any relation between the different indices in the array and the values of the array? Okay, so then you have to first analyze the sequence. So what is the sequence given to you? 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. So when you analyze the sequence, you are finding some similarities, right? So any time when a sequence is given to you, first step is to find out the similarities. So based on that, uh, you have to write a code, right? So now you can see that there are uh, zeros repeating, right? And you can also observe that the zeros are repeating at some regular, regular intervals, means at the even indices. So at every even index, it is zero. So now half of the um, solution is done. That is, at every even index, you have to have an array value as zero, right? Then what is the other thing you have that is non-zero values, right? Means other than even index, you are finding some value like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So that, then you have to observe these are non-zero values. And the other thing is what is the pattern they are following? They are following some incremental nature pattern, right? So this is how you have to analyze the given requirement. So even any interviewer also will not ask you for an answer. They will try to observe your approach to the problem. So how you are breaking down the problem, how you are analyzing the problem and how you are arriving to the solution. This is what an interview needs from you, right? So, okay. So now let us see the code for this particular sequence. Okay. So in this sequence, um, I have, I'm taking a class named packet and as class is not a standalone, we will be using a module inside that we will be instantiating this module and we'll be creating that module inside an initial begin block and then we will be randomizing that particular um, object right and then we will check the output okay so before that uh, let us see the main part of the question that is constraint so what have we taken here in constraint we have to name the constraint i'm here naming it as some c but you have to name always the constraint with some relevant name so that any user will understand what is this constraint for okay so here what we have taken for each array of i so as we have already drawn the conclusions from the sequence so it is very simple now to put that into a code right so what is the first conclusion that is at every even index the value is zero so the first conclusion you will put it in a code so i modulus 2 so I'm assuming that you know all this uh, system error law concepts of for each uh, array, means for each loop and the pre-randomize, post-randomize, all this. If you are not aware of all these concepts, you can have a look of the videos which we have in our semi-design or even you can contact us for any uh, such courses or that we can help you out with that. Okay, so now if i modulus 2 is 0, it means for an even index, if you want to write a condition, there are different approaches. It, uh, there is no hard rule that you have to follow the same approach. This is one of the approach which I am sharing it with you. You can try the different approaches. So i modulus 2 means uh, here it should uh, leave the reminder at 0, then we can consider that particular index is an even index. So at that point, the array of i will be 0. And then other thing is what the other non-zero values, right? So what we have drawn a conclusion that is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, right? It means they're incremental in nature. For suppose I am in this particular index, right? I So at i minus 1, we have 0. This is already been coded. Uh, so i minus 2, we have 1. So what we can do at i minus 2 plus 1 will give this particular value, right? So you can write the same in the code. That is an else part array of i is array of i minus 2 plus 1. 
okay just to replicate the same sequence in the code right that's why it initially we need to initialize it with some value right so here we have taken it as i value is 1 or it's somewhere again after it is completing till 9 and 0 then again it is repeating the same sequence right so you can write that uh, you can find out what is the index of this particular value and you can mention that and i is 19 then array of i is 1 so this is the approach i have followed you can you need not hard code this you can try some other way to get the same kind of the sequence okay so as i said dynamic array you need to give the value uh, saying that uh, you have to allocate it so based on that so many equations will get created dynamically you know this right then we are displaying this array using the array equals percent p so in the if you are giving array as percent p uh, as you want to print an array the format specified should be percent p so now let us run the code and see whether it is working or not It's working right 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 likewise so on it is working okay so this is all about this uh, sequence generation video that's it for this video stay tuned to our channel semi design to enhance your learning follow semi design for more such content please do comment your doubts and approaches to solve the same let's discuss further in the comment section Thank you.